Hi, I'm Ted from Everything Attachments, and we're with our latest addition to our new Wicked Grapple line. This is our smallest grapple we've made to date and the lightest, one specifically made for the BX tractor. We are gonna offer this. This is a 48 inch rake style grapple. We do have a 50 inch already in a, uh, in a root rake style uh, with the longer bottoms, but with this rake style, especially on a small tractor like this, it's gonna keep your load really close to the tractor. We've kept the weight down to this to under 150 pounds. We've really worked hard at, at doing some special things on this grapple. We've looked at the Land Pride uh, grapple that's similar to this. We've added a little meat where it needed to be. We've actually ended up with less weight than what they advertise theirs as, but we've checked everything on the Land Pride and we'll show you where we've, we've checked the thicknesses of everything and we're the same or thicker. We're definitely using AR 400 steel uh, for all the rake tines front and uh, top. Uh, and we've put these nice grippers here because with the rake style, you've got so much lid there, but you do have the dual cylinders. These are the same heavy duty four inch stroke cylinders that we use on our compact grapple that go on tractors up to 50 horsepower. So you're gonna have, you're gonna have a lot of clamping force. We've made some things, some changes from the Land Pride grapple simply for uh, durability and, um, and some things we wanted to do. We increased these gussets to go all the way to the top. I didn't really like having that single bar back there where it didn't have any support to the rear cylinder. And it was only a two inch piece of steel. So I increased that by three eighths of an inch to give it a little more strength, even though it's the AR 400 metal. Uh, just it needed a little bit there in my opinion. Um, we've also raised the tines just a little bit here to, so we're not cutting out so much of this AR420 to get to the main tube frame. So it's a little thicker here. All of the teeth are on the outside of what like the, the lamb pride is. So it gives you a little more meat. We didn't actually cut into the meat and take away some. We've, we've increased the the hinge pin here by an inch and a half to give it more support. And we've only allowed an eighth of an inch of clearance there, so it has to be right, where the Land Pride had over a half an inch of slop. Not to mention, we've also sized this uh, material here, which is a DOM tubing, uh, to the size of a three quarter inch bolt, where it actually has 30 thousandths clearance. It's nice and tight. Um, the other grapple, and we'll show you later, it's just loose and floppy. They advertise a 30 inch opening and the only way you're going to get 30 inches is if you manually hold it open because it kind of droops down another inch with all that play in it. So we've added a grease fit in here. We've got it to where when it's fully open and you would be back dragging and raking and so forth, that this, this piece of AR400 4, is actually touching the back of the frame right when the cylinder bottoms out. So when you're raking, it's duly supported and you're not gonna be bending anything when you're pulling backwards on this. Um, we've, uh, we've put our wicket in here. Now I've seen this scrapple on the internet as a lamb pride and it seems like they've gone through at least four or five different versions because at first these, these pieces that hold the lid were just tacked on to the top and they were only welded on one side. At Everything Attachments, we double weld everything. We don't tack weld, we don't stitch weld. Uh, we, we, if it's there, we weld it. Um, so on the newer grapple that we've got here sitting in the floor and we'll show you, they did come down and give it some support on one side, but not on the other. So. That's fine, you know, one side is for your crimping force you need. The other side, when you rake, is needed. So we did it on both sides. It's double welded on both sides. Um, I've seen this piece here on some grapples. It has a piece in it on the Land Pride. On some, it doesn't. Um, the last one we got, this the latest version that I know of, it doesn't have this piece in here at all. And it's kind of needed just to keep the whole grapple from tweaking around. And it was a good place to put our Wicked logo. And that's still made out of the AR400 steel there. When you take this, this off, because of the way it's designed, it's a fairly short attachment to start with. This is sloped up. So to take it on and off with pins now, if 
there is a quick attach we offer for this. It adds about 40 pounds to the tractor, uh, but it's a really nice feature. And once we have our 54 inch grapple and our universal hitch, you would be able to use it with the quick attach, which is nice over these pins. But to be able to take this on and off and to have to work with these pins, we've got the nice stand similar to Land Pride has, where you can simply drop this down lock this in place and they're on both sides. That way you can put this down safely and get your pins out without having to fight it falling on you the whole time. Another thing we've done, Land Pride uses a bushing between this stand and it's only held from one side, which you either crush this into the bushing and make it so tight that it's not really secure. I didn't like that, so we welded another tab on the other side to keep it fully supported from both sides instead of just putting a bushing in it and a bolt and held from one side. So this is a nice feature, makes it easy to uh, put on and off your tractor. So when you're having to do your pins, it just makes it easier. The pins on this, because this is a three cylinder design, the, the pins that go in your original bucket are shorter. They don't have near as much boss. This you're gonna really use hard, uh, you know, when you're, when you're using this type of stuff and wanna rake through the ground. So we custom make the pins. They're longer, they go all the way to the end of the uh, bushings there that are welded on. That, the center cylinder, it's a lot bigger diameter, and it is a very close to the uh, bottom pins, which means it takes a lot of abuse just for one cylinder. That's why it's so big in diameter versus two little ones on the side, which most bigger tractors have. So it's an inch and three sixteenths pin that goes through that. We custom make that. There's a lot of push there. That's why I was not wanting to take out this plate here. I know that pin and this tube and everything are gonna take a lot of abuse, and this plate's gonna make it twice as strong where none of this moves around in here. Um, so we, we've put as much as, we, also on the plumbing. Now, th this is the third time I've plumbed this thing, and this is the second grapple I built to get the things I wanted right and get the geometry right, but we're over 30 inches of opening, and as you can see, you can't push it up anymore because our grapple simply fits right and it's tight. Um, if we go to the plumbing, they're using a JIC, and I've had this battle with people over Tractor by Net. We use pipe fittings on our, all of our grapples, and we simply have zero problems. So um, on this one, we keep all types of uh, Parker fittings and, and hose here of every size, so we can do what we want. We put the JIC fittings on this. We decided it'd be easier, quicker, and we're trying to keep it, you know, as inexpensive as we can. Um, but then after moving it a few times and trying to work it a little bit, we had a couple fittings come loose, just didn't like it, and just went back to the extra work of plumbing it with pipe fittings. And you will, we'll show you some pictures of that on the back. So it's plumbed like our regular Wicked Grapples. We feel 100% safe doing it that way instead of the JIC way, um, even though that's, that's quicker. Um, so with this extra support and everything for the lid, and so for the BX ones, we are going to go through the, it's a little more trouble, but we're going to paint them Kubota orange so they match your nice little tractor. Um, we're also going to make it in a 54 inch, which is needed if it goes on the small, the same size of subcompact tractor on the John Deere. There's just not enough room on a 48 to put a John Deere hitch on it. So we will have this same grapple in a 54, and then we will also have it in a standard quick attach on the 54 because it takes more room to do that also. So we will be increasing our grapples here very shortly. Uh, on this style of uh, rake grapple. The cylinders that we're using, the four inch cylinders we're using, when I look at the Land Pride, you know, they're called a tie rod cylinder and that's got the four rods that hold it all together and it's an all cast iron steel cylinder instead of an aluminum uh, cylinder. And I just like everything about that better. The tie rods on this and the heavy dutiness of our cylinders are like a third bigger tie rods and just a much heavier cylinder. It's what we use on our bigger grapples. 
So I'm sure we're not going to have any problem there. And it's going to give you your maximum crimping force. And with that extra steel that we've added into it, and we've still ended up with less weight than what's in the Land Pride. And I think that's pretty easy to figure that they just don't have their weight exactly right. Uh, maybe it's a, a shipping weight or something like that. A lot of companies try to make their attachments to, uh, they want them to be heavier because it sounds like that you're getting more for your money or it's heavier duty. But on grapples, I want mine to be as, as strong as they can, but as light as they can be, just simply so you can do more work. When you've got this size of tractor, every 20 pounds you can push and pick up is the difference between a yes and no sometimes. And Nate's gonna pan around to the back. We've got our new little landscape rake on the back. And so between the grapple and landscape rake, this is really just a little clean machine. You can do everything uh, you know, from the front and clean up and get the main debris out of the way. And then we're going to show you here in just a minute our new landscape and rake on the back with the gauge wheels. And that really does make your subcompact tractor something that becomes a tool that will actually do some work for you. Um, these are not just overgrown lawnmowers. They're, they're a machine that needs real attachments to do real work. And at Everything Attachments, this is what we specialize in. Give us a call or an email and we'll make sure that you get the right grapple and attachments for your tractor. Oh,